Well, good day, neighbor. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about just waiting. Being frugal in these trying times. I just, I, I titled this video, Just Wait. And the concept is, you see the shopping cart, but it's empty. And what I'd like to do is talk about trying to be as frugal as possible in these trying times. Just wait. I try to wait three or more days before I purchase an item or a service. I try to think if I, if I need it instead of do I just want it. Now, the time limit depends on the price of the good or the service. Uh, if I have a water heater that goes out and it's leaking all over the uh, garage or the house, whatever it might be, that's a need. I need to get that fixed and I need to go ahead and have that taken care of uh, as soon as possible. If the car is not operable and I need to be at work or I need to do things, uh, go to the the different feed stores and pick up things with the truck, you know, I need to have that fixed so I can continue life uh, as normal as possible. I just say, uh, just wait. Uh, try not to do any impulse buying. Just no impulse buying. Uh, allowed for a certain period of time. Try that and see how it works for you. We are living in trying times and there are shortages out there of different items. Some items are plentiful. It may not be the items that you need. It may not be the items that you want. But since we are in the trying times, there are times that you might need medical supplies on the spur of the moment and that's, that's fine that's a need. It's not a want. You need those medical supplies. But if you go up to the checkout counters, there are always things that you can buy when you're standing in line. And that's, a, that's marketing. And that's, that's what they do. It's great. You may find something that you forgot to get and you're like, oh, I forgot to buy, you know, lighters or matches or, and here they are. I'll throw them in. That's not impulse if it's a need. That's a necessity. Now, it starts with good planning. Everyone should have a plan. That's my opinion. And then that way, good planning leads to good consequences. So if you plan, oh, well, I know I'm going to need windshield wipers next year because every year my windshield wipers are totally destroyed because of the cold or the heat or whatever it might be. So I'm going to go ahead and buy those windshield wipers this year and have that extra pair on hand so when it's time, I don't have to stop and be concerned about, oh no, I got to go to the store and or maybe they don't have them in the store and I've got to go to five stores and it creates a lot of stress. So go ahead and have that extra pair of windshield wipers on your shelf. That's good planning. It also prevents impulse buying. You go to the store and you don't have to worry about, oh, look at, look at all these things. Look at all these things I can buy. Oh, I like that. Well, I may have five blankets at home, but oh, this, is, this has got this pattern on it, so I want that one. Do I need another blanket? Maybe not, or maybe I do. So that's a need. So you see all the, all the different specials. You see everything in the stores. I try to stay out of the stores as much as possible for many reasons. I'm not tempted to buy things, uh, just impulse buy. Oh, look at that. I could go into any of these stores. I don't care what store it is. Of course, I could go into any of those stores. And a friend of mine used to say, I need to go up and down every single aisle because they probably have things on these aisles that I didn't even know I needed or wanted. So I need to get all the things that I want or need. And I have to go up and down every aisle. It was a big box store this person was talking about. Every week, this person would go and make sure that they didn't miss anything. Now, they have a very large house, but they have a lot of things. It's not a hoarding situation. It's just they will never need anything from now on. You know, your basic food, food and water. And you ever, have you ever gone to the store and found an item and you wanted to purchase it and you thought, well, it's such a good deal. It's on a sale. I might be able to use that in the future. So I'm going to buy two or three. 
and it goes into a closet and it sits and you never even use one of them or you go and it's on sale and you think well I can get these to all my friends but around the holiday season you think oh I've got to go shopping I've got to get presents for all my friends and then all of a sudden you forget what you had in that closet so all those I call them false needs that you needed to have that and you put it away and then you forgot you had it so you go buy some more and then later on when you're cleaning or you or you're looking for something you're like oh there it is what are they still doing in here that's a bag full of all my presents and I forgot oh well season's gone so I'll wait till next year I'll just put it back in the closet I have also been to um, a store and everyone this has happened to everyone you go in let's say a grocery store you buy things uh, that you need and some things you want to stock up on but what happens is when that next ad comes out it's on half price sale and you're thinking oh my gosh I could have saved you know this much money this much money I, I, what do I do some stores and some stores in my area and I'm not sure about your area but some stores in my area if you bring the receipt and the ad they will refund that money back to you you don't have to bring the the product back in or try to rebuy things that they'll just say okay you know cheese was two for six last week and you bought them and now it's two for four well you get that money back it's worth the trip if it's a lot of money if it's one item you make that decision my opinion is if it's a, a store that's close and I frequent that store then I'm going to go back in and say okay here's the ad and I'd like to have that refund some stores won't let you do that they're like okay you missed it you know this is this ad and that was last week and that's all it is check with your store policies uh, your local store policies where you shop and see but what I'm trying to say is just wait think about what you're buying before you go run out and buy 25 boxes of matches when you don't use matches at all um, you might use matches uh, you might have friends who use matches but you may not need 25 boxes of matches large purchases maybe like a house or a car or land if they I like I said I wait at least three days if not more I look at everything in there I analyze everything before I run out and just oh that's what I want impulse buy on I've seen people impulse buy on cars oh I love it well take a test drive that's what they want you to do test drive that car truck now you want it oh it's bright and new shiny I have to have it and you end up spending tens of thousands of dollars on something that you may regret later you think oh, I really didn't need that now what well it's depreciated so you have a brand new car truck or farm machinery well I'm glad you stopped by neighbor I appreciate you stopping in and like the video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to our, the channel and hit that bell so you get a notification every time a new video comes up and down in the comments share with me some of the things that you have purchased on an impulse buy and did you regret it or were you happy that you that you got it um, do you go into stores and find all the good sales and also in, in your in your area um, do your stores will they refund that money if it's on sale now and it wasn't on sale when you purchased it last week I appreciate you stopping by and look forward to seeing you come back and see some more videos